I found my grandmother dead in her home, she was drained of all her blood. Written by, Nerds, Corex, Creep. Damn skeeters have always been a pain in my ass. Growing up in rural Ohio, living in a big swamp with my cantankerous old grandparents, skeeters have been a constant reminder of how much life sucks. I'd never really been scared of bugs, but skeeters were just the absolute bane of my existence. The day I left for college was the best day of my life. I was out of that musty trailer and away from that skeeter-infested swamp. Getting a full ride on a football scholarship was pretty nice too. I'm a pretty fit guy and was always great at sports. Ever since I was a teenager, I had the legs of a bronco and the arms of a gorilla. Unfortunately, football hasn't been much of an option for me lately, and I wasn't able to attend classes, so I made my way back to home. When I got to the swamp, I shuddered with the memories of the dank, hot weather, and the annoying little bloodsuckers. The sun was starting to set, so I wanted to be sure I got home before it got dark and they were all out full force. As I pulled up to the double wide, I noticed that things were a bit off. The lights were off, which was unusual as my grandparents were expecting me, so even if they did decide to turn in so early, they would at least have the decency to leave the lights on for me. I got out of my truck and made my way to the door, knocking three times. No answer. Mama. I yelled. It's Lucas. Open on up. One benefit of living where we were was that we had no neighbors. We were completely isolated from everyone else, which I figured would be a good thing, so I had no worries about yelling at the top of my lungs. There was no one around to complain about it. I kept knocking and still, there was no answer. They were pretty light sleepers, so they should have heard the pounding and the yelling. I tested the doorknob and it was locked. I peeked into the window to the right of the door and could barely make out the silhouette of a body laying on the floor. Mama. I yelled, my heart racing so fast I thought it was gonna give out. I slammed my shoulder into the door but it wouldn't budge. As I said before, I'm a pretty big, strong guy, so I should have broken that door down with no issue but I just ended up hurting my shoulder. I spun around, looking for something to break the window out with and noticed my paw paws with chopping axe. I pulled it out of the stump it was embedded in and slammed it into the window. I turned my head as to not get glass in my face and when I was done getting all of the glass out of the window frame I climbed through. It was not easy at all with how husky I am but I managed to squeeze through. It was completely dark inside. I pulled out my phone and turned on the flashlight, frantically searching for whoever was on the floor. I about threw up when I finally saw her lying there on the floor. It took everything I had to compose myself as I stared at the old withered husk of a body that had once been Mama. Slowly, I approached her and saw just how bad it was. She definitely didn't die from natural causes. She'd been stabbed in the heart, and her blood was completely drained from her body. A look of absolute terror was frozen onto her gray, skeletal face. Still in her left hand was a shotgun. Tears began to run down my face as I gripped the axe and stood to my feet. I turned to find the light switch and hit it. Nothing. The lights were completely out. I shone my flashlight over to the door and noticed that it had been boarded up from the inside. That's why I couldn't bust through, whatever happened here, my grandparents were trying to keep someone or something out. None of the windows were broken, though, so whomever they were trying to keep from getting in managed to slip in at some point. It then occurred to me that Paw Paw was nowhere to be found. Paw Paw? I called out. You hear? It's Lucas. Where are you? I began searching the rest of the trailer, praying that I didn't see the bloodless corpse of my grandfather. When I got to the bathroom, I finally failed to hold in my vomit. The bathtub was overflowing with black, slimy water. Or something liquid at least. I stepped back out of the puddle and noticed something on the floor. They looked like... Eggs. At least a couple dozen basketball-sized eggs were laying all over the floor, but that wasn't the worst of it. At some point. They'd hatched. Panic started to take over. I didn't know what the hell was going on but I had no plans on staying to find out. I grabbed the shotgun and quickly made my way to the front door, but before I got to it I noticed something out of the broken window. It was a lot of somethings actually. Off in the distance, 
Near the water, were dozens of skeeters, flying around in circles, but they weren't normal skeeters, they were huge. I felt myself about to vomit again as I watched these Doberman-sized monsters flying around. I had to get the hell out of Dodge quick. I went to the door, swung it open, and froze in place. There, standing before me with the face of a skeeter, a long black barb about the size of my forearm was what had once been Paw Paw. His head twitched erratically as he advanced towards me. I backed away quickly, losing my balance and falling flat on my ass. Paw Paw. No. Please. I pleaded that there was no point. Paw Paw was dead. Whatever this thing was, it wasn't him. It then ran at me at full speed and I swung the axe with pure instinct and adrenaline. It connected with its face, slicing the barb off. It let out a blood-curdling screech as it gushed blood all over the place. I crawled back to avoid getting any of it on me. I didn't know how this happened to Paw Paw but I wasn't about to take any chances. It flailed wildly and I swung my axe once again this time, embedding it into its forehead. Once again, I turned my face to avoid getting any blood on me. I did not want to get infected by whatever plague or curse this was and get turned into one of these things. As the Skeeterman fell back I yanked the axe from its head and ran out the door. I rushed to my truck, and realized the giant Skeeters were heading towards me. I hit the unlock and frantically got in, frantically trying to start the engine, but the damn thing wouldn't go. Ah, come on man! I yelled in frustration. The Skeeters made their way to me, surrounding the truck from all sides, scratching and jabbing at it with their barbs. I kept trying the key until, finally, the engine roared to life. I put that sucker in drive and sped off. The damn things wouldn't let up though, and they kept chasing me. One actually managed to break through the driver's side window and stick me right in the shoulder. Shit. I yelled out in pain as I smacked the damn thing in the head with the axe. The others just kept on it though. Eventually I could feel the steering give out on me as one of the damned bloodsuckers had apparently busted one of the tires. I lost control as the truck spun out and I went barrel rolling until it smacked right into a tree. I was hurting for sure, but I crawled out and noticed they were still coming right at me. I pulled out the shotgun and pulled the trigger. Nothing. In my panic, I didn't bother to see if the damn thing was loaded. Aw oh shit, man. I cried grabbing the axe ready to die swinging. Right before they got to me though, there was a flash. Flames started engulfing the Skeeters, and almost me as well. Any that did get burned to a crisp flew off. I collapsed, completely exhausted. You alive, man? shouted a familiar voice. I felt two sets of arms help me to my feet. It was Jack and Jolene, a pair of twins I went to high school with. I'd always been sweet on Jolene and Jack was my best friend all through school, which was why I never made a move on her. They put me in their car and drove off into town. I'm in their house right now. Luckily, they were on their way over to surprise me for my homecoming when they noticed a swarm of giant bugs coming straight for me. They were pretty quick to make a spur of the moment Molotov out of a bottle of whiskey they'd brought with them with a bandana Jolene had been wearing. Jack has called the authorities and they're on their way to the scene right now. I don't know where these things came from, or how this all came to be, but I'm very worried about myself right now. One of those damn things stuck me in the arm, and even though Jolene disinfected it and patched me up, it's been hurting like a mother. Hopefully, I don't end up like Paw Paw, and I've made the twins promise to put a bullet in me if it comes to it. I need to go take a bath now. I feel pretty gross. If you enjoyed tonight's creepypasta please support our channel by clicking that subscribe button below. Thank you.